How do we apply lean to building construction? In a study on workflow variability conducted by Ballard and Hull in 1998, they identified that there is a failure rate of 54% in achieving planned workflow. Workflow variability results in delays for trades waiting to do, do downstream work, creating stops and starts that greatly affects the team's ability to control workflow. In their analysis, they determined that to fix this problem, production planning needs to be from the bottom up as the people doing the work have better capabilities for planning and delivering the work. They decided to design a system called the Last Planner System to pr pr improve the predictability and reliability of construction process. The Last Planner System manages the relationships and conversations and commitments that together enable program and production planning decisions to be made collaboratively at the lowest possible level in the construction process. It is based upon these principles. The assumption is that the construction work plans are forecast and are often wrong. Planning needs to be more detailed the closer you get to the work. Plans need to be made by the people doing the work. Constraints need to be identified and removed by the team. Construction teams must make reliable promises. And plan failures should be treated as opportunities for learning not as a, a reason to blame and point fingers. Lean project system is based upon multiple levels of scheduling and planning, including the master schedule, the phase schedule, six week look ahead, the weekly work plan, and a daily plan when required. The master schedule process is used to determine the likely duration of the project and to set milestones and phase plans needed to deliver the project to an estimated target completion date. At this stage, a team will look ahead at long lead times and deal with any design or construction constraints that affect the feasibility of delivering the project. The phase plans are, pl are pull planned by the trades doing the work. Working backwards from the milestone dates and up downstream, trades pull the task needed for the completion of the work, establishing commitments and handoff dates for upstream work. This network of tasks and commitments establishes a high-level work plan that is based upon the available capacity and commitments to complete the work to a collaboratively developed phase plan. The six-week look-ahead schedule is used for workflow control to meet the phase plans and ensure that there are no constraints. That will affect the weekly work plan. It identifies the work that can be done by matching the workflow to capacity maintaining a balance of work to minimize downtime and develop plans for how the work will be completed. The weekly work plan is prepared by the foreman or, or the last planner in a weekly meeting with all of the trades where they collaboratively establish the work that will be done. Meet daily to track the work that is getting done as measured by the percentage of planned work completed the measurement for performance mean PPC, planned percentage of work completed. There's also an opportunity for team building and discussing ways to improve workflow, safety, reduce waste, and share any process changes that could help the group. At the daily stand-up meeting, trades meet to report on work commitments that have been achieved, to resolve any issues, and to coordinate the planned work for the day. The percentage of work commitments achieved or tracked at this daily meeting and are summarized and tracked as the main performance indicator for how well the team is, is at making and keeping commitments to making the overall phase plan. The last planner system is a, a planning work, is about planning the work, breaking it down into manageable pieces, dealing with constraints so that the trades can do the work and checking progress against plan and improving the process to eliminate waste. Plan, Lean Project's delivery system includes milestone and phase planning, pull planning to meet phase plans and utilizing a six-week look ahead. Do, we manage production based upon establishing weekly work plans, coordinating the work on a daily basis. Check, we, we test our progress against plan, make adjustments if required. Productivity is measured as PPC. And improve, we stop to fix problems with workflow and develop new operating procedures that provide consistency to the way we work. 
Teams that adopt lean production systems are better able to plan and coordinate work, engage people to a higher level of commitment, and get work done in less time and with fewer resources. Last planner system summary. There is a failure rate of 54% in planned work on traditional projects. Last planner system helps to fix that. It is a bottom-up process for planning the work by people doing the work. It improves productivity by achieving constraint-free work and reliable commitments, introduces discipline and accountability to achieve measured performance targets. When the whole team is committed, oh, the places you can go. Thank you, and we will next we will talk about the Lean Project Delivery System, of which the Last Planner System is a part of. It, but it integrates the whole, whole process from design through to construction. Thank you and have a great day.